Hi guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Awata HP CR Awata Revolution Airbrush. But first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to the guys over at airbrushes.com who sent me this airbrush out for review. If you check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to airbrushes.com's web store and you can go and check them out for yourselves and find more information out about the Revolution CR airbrush. Okay guys, so first of all, we're going to have a look around the box. So, an important thing to... Uh, tell you about this box is if you can actually see it there shining in the light this has got a holographic Awata sticker now this is important uh, to denote that this is in fact a genuine Awata airbrush and I highly recommend you getting this from a reputable um, retailer like airbrushes.com to make sure you know you're going to get a genuine Awata product uh, so let's just take it out of the box shall we Okay, so first of all, we've got this from airbrushes.com and it's an extension of the five year warranty to a 10 year warranty on airbrushes uh, from Awata, uh, excluding the Neo. But all Awata airbrushes get a 10 year warranty with airbrushes.com. So that's a, a fantastic um, an addition to purchasing your airbrush with them. You also get uh, in the box an Awata sticker, so you can put this on your hobby bench. And we also get a, a brief guide on how to start airbrushing. So it's just gonna be going over, putting the paint in the pot, uh, using the airbrush to spray air, and then pulling the uh, trigger back to release it for paint. So um, pretty basic guide there to using the airbrush. And now we're coming to the airbrush itself. Let's take a look at the contents of the box then. So the contents of the box, we've obviously got the Awata Revolution CR airbrush, but we've also got a spanner. And then the spanner is used to take off the nozzle of the airbrush off. And as you can see, it's embossed with a water there, which is a, a nice little touch. We also get a tube of super lube as well. Now the super lube is used to lubricate the trigger mechanism of the airbrush. Now, out of the box, it's super smooth, but after many months of use, you may find that the trigger becomes less smooth and you might wanna add some super lube to the trigger of the airbrush to make it run nice and smoothly again. So that's a lovely little touch that you get in this box set of the Awata Revolution CR airbrush. What I'm going to do now, guys, is take it out of the box and tell you a little bit more about the Awata Revolution CR. So let's talk a little bit about the airbrush. Now, this is what's known as an entry-level Awata airbrush, but don't let that fool you. It's still made to Awata's uh, world-leading quality and standards. It also has a PTFE solvent proof packing seal so you're going to be able to use solvent paints in this airbrush without worry of damaging it and also with a ptfe packing seal it's going to last a lot longer than rubber seals so that's a great feature of this airbrush it also has a nine milliliter airbrush cup which is fantastic to hold large quantities of paint the airbrush lid fits absolutely perfectly on the airbrush which you'll find with lesser made airbrushes that they don't fit at all well on the airbrush and you sometimes can have an airbrush lid that's just too loose and when you're painting at certain angles the lid can fall off and you're going to lose precious paint or worse destroy or ruin the project that you're working on uh, but you're not going to worry with the Awata airbrushes there as it fits absolutely perfect uh, looking at the handle at the back, you can see that it's tapered, so it fits really nice and snugly uh, against the back of your thumb there. Um, if we take the handle off the back of the airbrush, so taking off the handle at the back of the airbrush, we can see we have our needle, we have our needle chucking nut, we have our needle chucking guide, and we have our spring guide. Now the spring guide could be turned in and out to change the tension on the trigger to make it looser or tighter to our own personal preference. 
the Iwata Revolution CR airbrush has a 0.5mm needle nozzle set. Now this is absolutely fantastic for heavier medium paints and also for large wide spray patterns. As you can see from the front, the needle cap is actually really wide so you're going to be able to get really wide spray patterns with the needle cap on and not have to worry about damaging the delicate needle as I take this off and show you. Okay so I've hooked up the airbrush to my compressor and I've placed some acrylic paint into the airbrush cup so now I'm going to spray the Awata uh, Revolution CR airbrush on some paper and see what spray patterns that we can get I'm spraying at 20 psi so you can see that I'm able to get fairly fine lines out of this airbrush but I'm able to get really wide spray patterns. What I'm going to do now guys is come back and we're going to actually spray a miniature with this airbrush. We're going to prime it first of all, then we're going to base coat it and then we're going to highlight it. So back in a moment and we'll get set up painting a miniature. Okay guys, so now I'm going to actually spray some Vallejo polyurethane grey primer. Now this primer causes many uh, users of airbrushes problems because it's quite a heavy medium and I get many messages saying that they're struggling to spray the Vallejo polyurethane grey primer. Now in theory, I've not tested it yet but I'm sure I'm going to find out in a moment, that using the 0.5mm needle nozzle of the Awata airbrush it's going to spray nice and smoothly so let's test that out. I've placed the Vallejo polyurethane grey primer into the airbrush cup now guys so now I'm going to prime the miniature just going to test it out first of all see how it's spraying as you can see it's spraying absolutely beautifully out the airbrush there and now we're going to hit the primer on the miniature and as you can see it's spraying absolutely beautifully guys effortlessly priming the miniature here With no paint spatter. Just going to hold it upside down and point from underneath, guys. And as you can see that primed absolutely beautifully there guys. I'm going to come back once the primer's cured and then we're going to give the miniature a base coat using some thinner paints and then we'll show you to see how we can highlight as well. So uh, back in a moment. Again guys just testing the spray of the airbrush before I hit the miniature. And now we're just going to base coat. Again guys, you can see how smoothly that paint's going down. Now I know this is a Death Watch Mini and it shouldn't be blue guys, but this is just a test that I'm doing for you to show you how well this airbrush spray sprays. Sorry for the noise of the compressor there.
Okay guys, uh, now I've base coated the Terminator as you can see. I'm going to let that dry for a moment and we're going to come back and we're going to do some highlighting. Okay, I'm coming back in now with a lighter blue guys and I'm going to show you that even with a 0.5mm needle nozzle set we can still get relatively fine detail so if we um, concentrate on the back of the terminator here we can see that I'm just going to slightly feather in some of the blue there and we're going to leave the darker blue behind in all the recesses and we'll do the same on the shoulder there as well We're going to hit just the top of the head. And as we see some of the leg armour here, we'll hit the bottom and we'll leave the top. We'll just hit the round button in the middle there. As you can see, you can get very, very accurate with this airbrush. I'm just using air at the moment just to dry that paint off. Just spray a little bit of paint in there. Same on the hands, the tips of the fingers there. And we'll come back in with an even lighter colour to highlight it even more. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to add a little bit of, um, of the lighter colour blue to the back of the Terminator. To the top of the shoulder to the very bottom of that shoulder for that um, armor plate on the leg top of the helmet there and as you can see guys, this is I've done this super quick and I've just picked three different shades of blue to show you how accurate you can be with this airbrush. Uh, I'll show you, I'll just aim for the gun barrel there. And as you can see, that's my little finger and you can see how accurate you can get with this 0.5 millimeter airbrush. Um, we'll come back in a moment and we'll have our final opinion of this airbrush. I could sum up this airbrush in one word guys, Awata. This is an Awata airbrush and it's precision engineered quality. As you could see from spraying this Terminator model, the 0.5mm needle nozzle set is absolutely perfect for heavy and medium paints. As you could see with the Vallejo polyurethane grey primer, I get many messages about this particular primer saying that they struggle to spray out of their airbrush. Now that could be that it's uh, an inferior quality airbrush and it could be that they're using uh, too small of a needle nozzle set. But as you could see with the Revolution CR, it sprayed absolutely beautifully. Also, uh, which I think is quite important with this airbrush, it's also able to spray pretty fair fine detail as well. As you can see illustrated on this uh, leg 
um, armor plate there we've got a nice transition from the dark blue to the light blue and as you could see I sprayed the gun barrel there and just was able to spray that tiny little area without getting paint pretty much anywhere else which shows you how well this airbrush can spray so those are my thoughts on this airbrush guys who do I recommend this to now I recommend this to everyone and when I mean everyone I mean beginners intermediate users and advanced users so for beginner users it's going to be absolutely fantastic for painting with being very forgiving on paint ratios and thinning of paints there and it's also going to be easy to spray with and maintain for intermediate and advanced users you're going to find this is absolutely fantastic to spray heavier medium paints so your primers your base coat in and also your varnishes there but what i'd really want to know guys is your thoughts do you own an awata airbrush let others know what you think of your awata do you own this particular make the awata revolution cr please put a comment in the comments field down below. I really want to hear your thoughts. And if you're thinking of getting into airbrushing or you've just got into airbrushing and you've got any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments field down below and I'll try and get round to answering as many as I possibly can. I also want to lastly say a huge thank you once again to airbrushes.com who sent me the airbrush out for review. If you want to find out more about the Awata Revolution CR, please check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and you can go and check that out for yourselves guys and uh, thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video